Sharky, Sharky, moving along. Oh, oh God, oh God, what the hell was that? Ah! <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back once again to the glorious realm of Jurassic World, where today we are taking a look at the Prognathodon Tournament. Yes! Now, for those of you who don't know, um, Prognathodon is actually a genus of Mosasaur, so yes. In fact, he technically is a Mosasaur, and uh... As far as his size goes, you know, as far as his diet's concerned, all that kind of stuff, I would have to imagine that yes, he is fed um, just from the same old shark uh, <laughs> trail system as all the other mosasaurs, you know, because he, he, he is a big guy. So, yeah, um, we <laughs> hopefully will get to s the chance to see him here in a moment. Uh, first, we need to compete against a couple of dopey amphibians led by their master, Dippy, and uh, their friend. So this is kind of going out on a limb, but did you guys hear about that poor Triceratops yesterday who was abducted from his home? Yeah. He was later found dazed and confused in the middle of the road thanks to some Triassic thugs. Freaking Triassic thugs, man. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Um, it, w it was the concrete Triceratops, obviously. Uh, if you guys follow us on Twitter, we actually retweeted a picture of this, <laughs> this poor trike. <laughs> in the middle of a road the other day that some guy on the Isle of Wight found. And uh, it turns out that it, it came from a uh, manufacturer of like ornamental uh, creatures, obviously. So yeah, it was, it was like concrete. Um, but <laughs> that's, that's just uh, something else, you know? You know, that's not to say that that's too far-fetched actually, because um, earlier this week, uh, a British think tank set out with the notion that uh, by the year 2050, so in 34 years, it's a little over three decades from now, we will have several species of dinosaurs running around for the show of the consumer. But, you, you know it was coming. They won't look like dinos. Basically, they'll be altered chickens. Which was what Jack Horner told us now, nearly two years ago. So, how is this news? Well, because a think tank released it, I guess. No, basically, the real news here is that in three decades, right? Three decades! Scientists will have tossed out the entire genetic ethics rulebook just to the waste bin. Just flick, it's gone. So we can make imitation dinosaurs and how about some glow in the dark unicorns too? Because what the hell, right? I mean, if we're doing dinos that don't look like dinos and you're warning us ahead of time, hey, they're not gonna look like dinosaurs, but we're gonna call them freaking dinos anyway. Uh, wh why not the latter? I don't know. How, how, you know, I'm hoping that those Triassic thugs are still going to be around then. You know, like as 70 year old men, they're going to be like, you know, let's beat the hell out of these imitation chickens, dinos, whatever. <laughs> and I'll throw back a whiskey and then I'll just start, no. It would still be animal abuse, so we're not going to make light of that anymore. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, I, I don't know what to make of it. It's not dinos if you're saying, well, we're going to call them dinosaurs, but, uh... <laughs> they're going to be like chickens! Because, really... Come on. Right? Speaking of dinosaurs going to hell... Uh... This is, this is a huge segue, okay? Um... <laughs> why? Why is the good dinosaur already coming out on DVD? Can anybody answer that question for me? I mean, like, 
Okay. Here's... I, and this has been going on for some time now. And I'm not sure exactly what the turnaround was on Jurassic World because I didn't really keep all that good track of it. I, I want to say it was four months between uh, coming out and being released on DVD. But honestly, like I grew up, okay, in a period where it would almost be when the home release came out, it was like the movie came out again at the movies for the first time. Because you'd have to wait nearly a year for a film to come out at the theater and then be released to home movies, okay? Uh, for example, um, when Aladdin, this, this is kind of digging into my age, <laughs> when Aladdin came out on VHS, right, I completely forgot about Aladdin. You know, it's like, oh my god, here's this thing called Aladdin, and it turns out I had actually seen it in the theaters, but I forgot all about it. And then when it came out in the movies, that's the only release that I remember because it was like, oh, my God, look at this amazing movie, you know? He's, he's dancing with a guy in a bottle. How did that happen? It, 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 it's just, you know, what? Really? And I don't think kids get that experience anymore. And I know that technology has, um, I, I don't want to get out of technology, man, or anything. It's really, I, I don't have any beef against technology. Technology is a great thing. But... When it comes to stuff like wait periods and the the reintroduction to new material that actually isn't new, like in that circumstance, it's just a shame that we've kind of missed out on that. Because a lot of movies, right, they find new life when they're actually released to the home consumer. Like even though The Good Dinosaur didn't do that great in the theaters, who knows? It, it might get like a uh, a cult following through the the home movie release now because it was so close together. Though, I think they would have been better off, honestly, if they would have waited until like maybe May to release the Good Dinosaur. I know that's a long time, but you could have had like the summer rush. It would have felt more like a summer film. I I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too too much into this I, i'm looking too much at the marketing aspect and uh not enough at the the notion that it's coming out and i should just be happy with it right yeah prognathodon prognathodon awesome well with that said let's go ahead and rush him along because i want to see him now not 12 hours from now I'm kind of thinking about maybe getting him leveled up right away, too. See, he, he really doesn't look that big. You know? I thought... What, what, are you, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, my God. You are one psychotic amphibian. Or aquatic creature. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to, uh... <laughs> I don't know what to make of this guy. Jeez. Oh, look! Wow. Bravo, good sir. You could probably watch that all day. In fact, let's do it again. Sharky, sharky. Moving along. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell was that? Ah! <laughs> yep. Whoa. Did he just... He kind of glitched back to life after that. Did you see? I think there might be a broken uh, animation in the feed cycle. Watch, right after the Mosasaur swallows him, he'll appear under his chin. Okay? The shark. Nope, it didn't work there. Let's let's see if it does it this time. Just after the end of this cycle. Maybe? Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. We'll look later. So, I think, um, 
You know what? Just out of curiosity, 335. I think I've seen that attack before on a level 40. Where was it? Was it on... Yeah, okay. Well, maybe that's where I saw it, but I thought... Oh yeah, okay, the Ammonite. They're both 335s. Obviously, the Ammonite's health is a lot higher, but... Still, at least that's an argument for... For possibly leveling him up. Um... You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to dive into the genus pool and uh, extract a little bit more Mosasaur DNA to help us out on our quest. So, let's go ahead and level him up really quick. And, and watch the shark thing. Cause, oh, look! You can see him in the background. I was wondering what that was. So it was just him. He was just making this run for his dinner. Right. That's crazy. You know, this, uh... The second tier is actually the one that was on the front of the pack when we opened it. So, Prognathodon... being pretty B.A. Look at him! Ah. <sighs> He's just majestical in that sort of way, you know? Poor little guy. See, look, you can see him making his run up. And behind the rock, and then BAM! Hit right in the side, from both directions. Is he gonna pop? The chin? Nope. That must have been just a one-time thing, that's weird. Whatever. I do like that feed cycle, because it does give you a better idea of his size in proportion. You know? Oh, see, it did it there! Whatever. I, I guess sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it doesn't. So... Righto! Well... Cool! Uh, off-screen, we got a new mission. We actually finished Claire's amphibian thing, and, uh, we're, we're actually catching up. That's the name of this mission. Uh, catching up by collecting from comm devices. And we still need to do quite a few yet. So we're going to be working on that. And by the time we get back next time, we should have a new mission to take part in. So thanks for watching, everybody. And we will see you guys next time here in Jurassic World.